Well, look, you know, what's one thing that's been frustrating as we've been discussing this the last mm -hmm. few weeks, it's been all of the back and forth, you know, people finger pointing and the misleading statements. And so we wanted to offer up a factual timeline of events that led up to this. You may have heard some elected officials say where well, these were Obama's laws or these were all the Democrats. The Democrats have to change the law. So first, let me just establish this. It has been a crime to cross the border illegally since 1929. It's a misdemeanor for first timers. In 1997, there was the Flores Settlement Agreement. The Flores Settlement Agreement you've been hearing about set these national standards regarding children in detention, how they should be treated and cared for, how long they can be held, and it set a limit of 20 days, no family separation involved with that. And then in 2005, prosecutors for illegal border crossers remained low. I say prosecutions for border crossers remain low until 2005. George W. Bush, as part of the war on terror, announced the enforcement with consequences strategy. And then in 2009, that surge continues under Obama. The president continued those surge in prosecutions and had more deportations than the Bush administration. There was no family separation unless there were concerns about trafficking or the welfare of the child. Now in 2014, due to increasing violence in Central America, more children than usual began arriving at our border. An image surfaces of children being held in these fenced cage-like areas. Obama administration officials said that they didn't have enough facilities at the time to deal with the numbers. And then the Obama administration in 2014 opens these family detention centers. And this leads to lawsuits. They accuse the administration of violating that Flores settlement I told you about earlier by holding kids too long. And family housing conditions didn't comply with that settlement. So instead of separating families, after the 20 day limit, families were released to return on their own recognizance until a hearing date. And then in April, we have a new administration. Attorney General Jeff Sessions announces plans to step up prosecutions of unlawful entries, saying at the time, for those that seek to continue or continue to seek unlawful entry into this country, be forewarned. This is a new era. This is the Trump era. The lawlessness, the abdication of the duty to enforce our immigration laws and the catch and release practices of old are over. And then we're coming closer to today. It was just in April that zero tolerance policy came to be. The attorney general announced it, and this meant that all adults, regardless of whether they had children with them, would be prosecuted, and that meant separation of the families. And so when they say we don't have a policy of separating children, it really is playing with words. The policy resulted in children being separated. And so mm -hmm. far, there have been 2,000 children that are being held right now. Yeah, I literally was just having my conversation today with my wife because she's like, I'm, I'm just so confused. Like, is Trump actually doing this? Is President Trump actually doing this? Or was this all the, already set up in place? And you're saying since 1997. 1929, it became illegal across the border, oh, right? 1929. But no one ever met, like, no one ever, it's one thing to have a law, but then to have a policy where you can basically enforce what you have in place for right. everyone. So under Obama, that was not being enforced when it came to people with families. Gotcha. He had the family detention centers. They stayed together. But the law was but still there. April, it just wasn't being enforced. Exactly. Got it. So they said in April, Jeff Sessions was like, look, zero tolerance. And enforce the law And now. enforce the law for everyone. No gotcha. one gets a pass on this. And, and the children a, suffer. And now it's getting a little too aggressive. And so that's why they're like, oh, try well, to pull back a little bit and look some people are saying you know these are the families who made this choice mm -hmm. and so if it were any other crime we would say you know the children would have to be separated I think the other side of that is do you punish the children for something that's a misdemeanor um, and I don't know it's tough well Where do you, I, draw the I, line? you know what I think just because you can do something doesn't mean you should right and I think there's one thing when it comes to being legal and there's one thing for being human that is my opinion but what I did give you is a factual timeline minus my opinion right so that you can decide for yourself where you stand on it good <laughs>